29 meteorologist Bo Dodson. Let's take a look at the weather map this evening. We see a deep area of low pressure moving through the Great Lakes area, 988 millibars. These lines are equal lines of pressure and where they're tightly packed, you have gusty winds. We had some gusty winds overnight, 20, 30, 40 miles an hour at times as the low pulled through Illinois. We also had severe weather to our north with several tornadoes and a lot of large hail reported over central and northern Illinois. Thankfully, we did not have to deal with that as we had a little bit drier air in our area. There were a few thunderstorms that formed over northwest Tennessee last night, but they quickly died out as they moved northeast. We had a warm layer of air aloft that's called a cap, and that kept most of us from experiencing any thunderstorms yesterday. We see some clouds here on satellite moving in from the west. That's a weak disturbance. And as a matter of fact, we also have some returns on radar. Take a look at the Paducah, Kentucky National Weather Service radar. And you see some green and blue there. That's very light rain. But we've got dry air at the surface, very low dew points. And what's happening is that rain is falling, but it's evaporating before it reaches the ground. We call that Virga. Let's take a look at temperatures for your Wednesday night into Thursday afternoon and night and we will be cooling off a little bit over the next 24 to 36 hours we move through the overnight hours tonight and we stop at the 7:30 a.m. hour and mostly 40s over the area can't completely rule out some 30s over our northern counties but generally 40s for overnight lows tonight cool but not unseasonably cool for the middle of March we move through tomorrow and we do have above normal temperatures once again we go here into the 3:30 p.m. hour and you see a lot of 60s on the map even 67 68 over in parts of southeast Missouri a little bit cooler over our northeast and eastern counties with mostly lower 60s but still that's mild air no matter how you cut it take a look at Thursday night and we will cool back down into the 40s not too bad again and then as we move through Friday, a little bit cooler on Friday. Let me back up there to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You see mostly 50s over the area. We are stair-stepping down into this cooler air, a little bit cooler each day. And we will have a disturbance moving through the area on Friday night and Saturday that will have some clouds, maybe some light showers as well. Don't expect much out of it. And then by Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and Monday morning, I am expecting temperatures to dip down into the 30s. Perhaps the coldest night will be Sunday night, be either Saturday night or Sunday night. We'll keep an eye on it. I can't roll out some middle 30s over the area, and if that were to occur, we'll have to watch for some frost. Right now, that doesn't look likely, but we will have to keep an eye on it, and I will do that for you. Have a nice evening.